Alright guys, welcome to an unboxing for Asus G750 JH version We're gonna talk about the 3D version with 120Hz display There's a box with the beast in Then we have a little mouse, gaming ROG mouse The next item from the box We have our fantastic Asus Rock Solid <laughs> Republic of Gamers gaming headphones also absolutely fantastic for gaming I will show you content of the package when we are there the next item of course we have all the cables, battery and all that necessary stuff for running our little machine and the last one we have the 3 division glasses as you can see really important not for everybody, because not everybody prefer 3D gaming, but for those who do, this is a must to have. I also advise you, if you have a 3D version of G750JH, to get extra pair of glasses, so you can watch with your friends, your girlfriend, chill out and get dizzy from 3D. Okay, so this is the content of the box, now we're gonna unbox one by one, so let's have a look. Move this just a little bit here. Let's have a look first on the mouse. Mouse is really reactive. I did open this before, just to let you know. But you probably are wondering what's inside the package. So here is it, the game mouse. Ta-da! It's pretty cool. Sort of basic gaming mouse, as you can see. Button here, button here. We got the uh, DPI button for the uh, speed of the mouse. It's pretty cool. Scrolling wheel, of course, it's a laser optic and USB cable. It's really, really good for gaming. I did try it and I had no problem at all. So here is it, the little gaming mouse. Next, we continue with our fantastic headphones. Headphones are a little bit too big and they can be also really, really loud, especially if somebody is next to you. But as you can see, the cable is pretty thick. They also suit very well for the head. They have the little thingy here so they don't fall so simply from your head inside and the cable is really really thick and it's pretty long I like it a lot it's normal 3.5 millimeter jack but that's everything we also have with the headphones inside extension cable okay so what you're gonna do if you are too long or too far away from your laptop you just put this extension cable and you have a little remote controller for the volume up and down you can see you can scroll it it's really really good and I do like it a lot it's a good headset for gamers but what I also like got a little lavalier microphone so you can put it you can put it on your shirt using your plane, talk to your friends as you can see it's also a little mug with a little clip on and off button and just normal microphone jack so you can put it on your shirt or so and go for it big time ok so here's a little mic so we got a mic, headphones, an extension cable and we will have a little thing inside we got a jack to make it a little bit bigger and some stands for a microphone some clips so you can stick it even to a table or to a surface not only on your shirt just the basic little things so, so that was the audio, headset audio 
the sound is really good and also Asus G750J supports the max audio it means that you have many modes of playing the sound through the subwoofer got a pretty interesting choice of music and the sound does sound great from the machine ok so that was the that was the headset continue with the 3D glasses the 3D glasses, many of you don't get 3D glasses or 3D type with Asus G750JH and I tell you now that it's not important at all you don't really need it Okay, it's only for people who really really like to experience 3D or you really want to go for it then it's a good choice but for those who don't really care you know to pay extra money for it I tell you it depends it depends on the person I'm, I'm pretty happy I bought it I'm really happy I did try 3D gaming I still cannot really get used to it because you get a little bit confused from it you can get a little headaches I don't really have a headaches but you know what I mean it's nothing that important I think the the most important thing is your graphic card in your laptop so always make sure you have a good graphics and you at least boost your gaming performance to 60 fps okay so as you, as you see it's a 3 division 2 type just a normal one a little box here in video mean to be played okay so we open the box and here is the content of the package we have our little things inside, I'm going to show you what is inside the first important we do have a glasses 3D glasses ok made from glass plastic which I think they are pretty good some people say they are not really strong but I'm not looking for a really strong build quality I think if you are careful you'll be alright with it and you won't have any accidents there's a little button, put it on, the green light when it's flashing like that then you're ready to go so we have a 3D glasses ok I'm gonna put them over here then inside you have a USB charging cable just a normal simple USB 2.0 and how are we going to charge your glasses? I'm going to put it inside. There is a little hole. And just to find the right way. Okay, boom. Ta da. And your glasses are charging now, ready to gain. You can also use them during charging, so it's pretty cool. You're just going to have a cable sticking out of you. There you go. Right, cool. Okay. I charge them, I think, only once, and they, they do stay for a, at least four days. I was using them like two hours a day. They say the battery lasts four hours, but really, I use them like four days and just constantly, like two, two, three hours, and they just been on, so that's really impressive. Didn't expect that to be that long. We have here a little cloth. Oh, what's that? It's a manual for 3D vision. We, we do have this. We do have this little nose adjustments. So you can adjust your nose to the correct size. What you do? You take this one, this little out, this little thing from the side of your glasses it's like a little nosy thing and you can put a bigger one if you have a small cute nose if you have a big nose like I do then just use the basic one <laughs> okay so here is the nosy things and then we have we have the cloth the cloth is really 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 good for the glasses I really like it clean it with the cloth I'm also using the cloth for the laptop for the screen so it's kind of for everything also for uh, fingerprints because the laptop does get, uh, leave a fingerprints but this, uh, this little cloth 
it's pretty cool. You got it all in a package. So it's a really, really nice way from Asus to provide you with all these little details we care about. Okay, so those were the 3D glasses. And of course we're gonna continue with the brick, the weapon. We're gonna continue with the battery. Battery is massive. <laughs> but it's not that big as I thought first. And on the other hand, you don't really use a battery in a gaming laptop. I mean, gaming on the go, if you wanted to do gaming on the go, then go for a, something smaller. But this thing is around 7 kilos with the battery it all together and it's really, really heavy for a mobile gaming. But still, if you really want, you can do it. It's still better than take the whole desktop and travel with it. If you compare this... Uh, to compare this battery to my Galaxy Note 3, I'll show you. You can imagine the size. So here is it, Galaxy Note 3. Compare it to the size of the battery, it's pretty big. It's almost like Samsung Galaxy Note 3. That's how big it is. And bigger it's the second weapon it's the brick it's a power adapter it's absolutely massive but I think it's not as big as I thought to be honest but still compare it to a phone actually it's bigger than Galaxy Note 3 just a bit as you can see so there you go the little comparison and of course it's thicker way thicker it's really big but also gives you all the performance you need so you will not complain at all you will forget the size trust me as soon as you put a screen on put your computer on and you see all the fantastic details then you're gonna go for it just the basic basic stuff okay now we're gonna continue with the monster the most important part of the whole unboxing it's a laptop G750 JH this model has 16 gigs of RAM i7 processor it's 4700 4 generation, four generation of Cashwell 2.4 and with turbo balls still 3.4 gigahertz which is really good I know some of you say like there are better ones or, or you prefer the Alienware MQ's processors which, are, which you can customize more you cannot really move nothing away from this computer you cannot change the graphic or you cannot change nothing just the RAM and the HDD and the SSD but still it's really good performance and you'll be alright for at least 2-3 years with that setup ok so in the box we got nothing else in the leaflet these are warranty things, a little cards, so I can move the box away. And we have here Mr. Laptop. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All these protections away. I did find this uh, version in Europe, really rare. It has a 3D screen and it was bought from Slovakia. Uh, the price was around 2300 euros. Which you probably say it's a lot of money. Yes, it's a lot of money, but when you love something, first you don't really care. You want to buy it. Second, if you travel and you need power on the go, then this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's big, yes. It's a little bit thick, yes, but it's not as thick as a M18X Alienware or M17X Alienware. I did have Alienware before and trust me, this thing is not thicker at all. It's actually pretty, pretty okay with the weight. Uh, should be around 5 kilos now. We're gonna put a battery inside. Here is it. And click. 
what have you seen? You got your, if you open this little box over here, you got your hard, hard drives on this side and you got your RAM over here. I do have a 16 gigs of RAM, I thought to upgrade to 24 or 32, but you know what, I don't really, you don't really need that, I mean, if you, maybe if you're on a server or something, but I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty happy, I mean, I experienced really fantastic performance with it. The graphics is GTX 780M with 4 gigs of dedicated memory, so it's absolutely strong. We got a little subwoofer over here, uh, it's fine for a, for a laptop, I'm, I'm really happy with the sound, but I'm mostly using the headphones, I'm re I really like it loud and when I'm using external speakers. What I do like on this laptop, it has <coughs> it has amplifier uh, built in, okay, so you can simply play it louder, also on your headphones, also on your speakers, which is really, really good feature, I just don't like the laptops where you cannot do that and they are too quiet, I just simply hate it. We got a little USB ports, thunder, Thunderbolt, HDMI, Ethernet, VGA out, power cable, uh, power supply, sorry. <laughs> English is not my na native language, so excuse my funny accent, but whatever. We got a Kensington lock, two USBs and uh, the Blu-ray drive and little SSD card reader. Okay, we open it and here is it, this is what it's all about, fantastic touchpad, it's really really big, then we have a little Assassin's Creed 4 logo, some people don't like it but you know I did play the game and I like it and I don't mind, like I said the most important thing is what's on this screen it's not really what's outside. Of course, the aesthetics and design is important for some people, but for me, I'm really happy with the performance and this thing will satisfy you. Here you have your little camera, and if you want to use your 3D glasses, you have your IR emitter built in in this little cube over here, as you can see. So you don't need to buy your emitter, nothing, because many people were wondering when you do a 3D gaming, how does it work? You know, it's really simple. What do you do? You change the settings in your computer and uh, you just put your, you change the settings in NVIDIA panel for 3D gaming, you just press the little button and you have to go. The only uh, most important thing, <laughs> make sure they're charged, okay? Make sure the green light is flashing and then you are fine. So here we have a little password, do advise you to have a BIOS password protection. Okay, I'm gonna switch this off. Uh, now it's booting on the battery, so it takes a bit long, around uh, nine seconds. But normally on the on the power on the power supply it takes seven seconds to load, so it's absolutely absolutely fast. So as you can see, this was the unboxing of uh, ASUS G750JH with all the details. Like I said. I'll show you one more time. You do have a laptop, you do have our glasses, gaming mouse, which I think it's really, really, really good. Then we have our headphones over here, and the brick. The brick. Inside of it, inside of this little box which came with the laptop, you can find you can find your warranty card. Don't lose it. You never know what can happen. You can't trust techniques these days. Then you have Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag free gift voucher, so you can download the game, uh, not the DLCs, but just the game. It's pretty cool. I I did use it and I did play the game. It's original, you just get it from uh, the Ubisoft shop, it costs around 40 euros, so if you think about it, you got your glasses for free, which are around 40-50 dollars, then you have your game, which is around 50-60 dollars, I don't really know the prices, so excuse me if I'm wrong, then you have your uh, headset, which I believe can be around 80 dollars, 100, 
and the mouse which can be around 50, 60, 70 dollars. So all these things in one plus two years warranty. You got this beast for the money. Go for it. If you are still not decided, depends for what you're looking for. If you're looking for games, if you're looking for a video rendering, if you're looking for anything, go for it. This thing is absolutely fantastic. If I can rate it from 1 till 10 and 10 is the best, I will really really give it 10. And I don't really care about the size and the weight because I'm not really moving it up and down maybe once or two times a week and it's still still really really good <laughs> much better than to move the whole desktop so thank you for watching guys if you want more videos or if you have any comments uh, or anything if you want to ask just please write me down below you can see I'm trying to do some videos about the gaming as well not only about uh, the laptop I do have a review on Asus G750 on my uh, channel I'm really really happy and pleased with the results so if you like this video please like it if you have any questions, please ask. And if you want to see the full review of Asus G750JH with the games and free applications, I do have a fantastic review on my channel. Check it out. Thank you for watching and take care.